at 9 a.m. today at Ketchikan and we have a full day. We have to be back on board at 5.30 p.m. So I know that Ketchikan has two awesome totem pole parks and we are going to take a taxi or figure out public transportation to get there. The closest one is three miles away and another one is seven miles away. We just took the taxi to Saxman Totem Pole Park. It cost us $16. It was a meter taxi, but the ride was only seven minutes. It was really close. So let's go see what this park has to offer. On the side of the road, there is this small booth and this is where you get your park tickets. It's $5 per person. Uh, Nobody is there right now. So let's see if we can get the tickets somewhere else. Yeah, this is pretty much a waste of time to come here. There are like 15 poles spread apart. And you, when you go through town, you will see more poles. So we got here and as soon as we got here, there is a bus. So we just jump in on the bus right away and heading back to town. Yeah, definitely. I think it's a waste of time to come to this Saxman Toro pole. And definitely it's a waste of money of taking the taxi here and paying for the buses. The bus is $2. Uh, you have to have exact change. And the taxi cost us about $16.50, $17. And once you get here, you realize that you see most of the total pole, if not all. And then there's supposedly a $45 charge if you want to see a movie, a tour, a tour guide. And they, I guess they'll explain the total pole situation to you. And basically, that's it. But yeah, we wouldn't really recommend this spot. So if this is something you're looking to do, this Skip would be, it. yeah, there's much more other important things or interesting things for you to do here. We just got off the bus and look what is there, a totem pole. And the difference is they have a sign right next to the totem pole explaining what this is and what it is about opposed to the place where we went to they had no signs right now we are at creek street it's a um, more of a boardwalk it's a cool street made out of wooden planks and kind of like a little bridges right over a creek pretty cool looking at all the salmon and all of a sudden we see seals and we came to take a closer look and find out there are actually four seals and they were trying to catch salmon or maybe just playing with it and but one seal caught salmon so he just went under the ducks probably to eat it Creek Street is located just five minutes away from the port. I can see the cruise ship right behind me. There's a, this is a cute little area. There are a, f a few shops here, cafes, and the creek where you can see the salmon and possibly seals. So in this era, they used to be about 20 to 25 brothels back uh, in the day during the gold rush. And this building you see behind me, this is called Dolly's house. Now Dolly was one of the first um, prostitutes on this strip, what they call the red light district. And basically her house is the only house which is in, it, in its original form and still standing. All the other ones have changed over time 
in here it has all her original clothing uh, when she passed because she said she wanted to kind of make a name for herself and when she passed she wanted everything to stay original so behind us you could actually do a tour for ten dollars cash and see there's videos and they show she has a trap door in there and um, I think something like a, a, a speakeasy I guess I don't know if it's in the basement or something like that but yeah this was the first house and right now it's the last house that remains and they told us a lot of interesting facts about this place I'm not gonna spill it all if you like you can come in and definitely check it out they're hilarious in there the way they tell their stories it's just and you see the side inch on the side of the wall just hilarious. Ketchikan is the rainiest town in Alaska and we are so fortunate that today is such a sunny and hot day. As you can see I'm just wearing a crop top and it is so hot. The locals are really happy. They're all out uh, with the just t-shirts on trying to get as much sun as possible. Really cool. about our totem pole experience or I should say maybe failure when we came off the cruise ship we didn't really have an idea of what we wanted to do so we went to a kiosk right outside the cruise ship and we asked about the totem pole because we knew that was a big part of being here and the guy in the kiosk just said well there are two which one do you want to go I said well we don't know which one is the is would you consider the best one and he recommended the one we went to the other one is through a national park so we decided to go with his advice and that's why we ended up where we ended up and that was not a good experience and that's we would not recommend that we just came back into town upon staying there for literally five minutes and we went into the visitor center and Irina had a conversation with them there and they said the national park is basically where you would want to go so if you do come here we don't know what it's like but I'm taking it that anything is better than where we were so if you do come here and you're interested in the history of the totem pole and everything else maybe you should visit the national park and you will have a better experience if you are interested in visiting that national park where the totem poles is you could take the silver line bus it goes every hour it is two dollars and again make sure you have enough change because if not then there's nothing they can do about it so try to get enough change to get on the bus we walked around the town the weather is so nice and generally it's really pleasant there is not much to do if you're not taking the tour and to walk around the town it will take you maybe an hour or even less we did a little bit of shopping and right now since it's so hot we are craving an ice cold Alaskan beer